Vandals also targeted buildings along Southeast Hawthorne overnight, breaking windows there and filling several blocks with graffiti aimed at Thanksgiving. Police say at least 10 businesses were damaged between 33rd and 41st. Our Fox 12's Drew Reeves reports. Well, all along Hawthorne, you can see damage like this. This is some of the worst of it, broken windows here at Fred Meyer. But people who live in this area say waking up to this on Thanksgiving morning was a shock. Portland police say they received reports of damage just before 1.30 in the morning at the New Seasons near Hawthorne and 40th. They say witnesses told officers that a group of people were moving west along Hawthorne, dressed in black and breaking windows. Today, neighbors are seeing the aftermath. We want to support all the businesses and everything, so seeing tagged and stuff like that is scary. But We've got so much on our plates, and then to come out on Thanksgiving Day and see this, is, it's deflating. But, you know, we got to move on. Kevin Gibson says he's lived in this area for 10 years. I love Hawthorne. But he says the last few years, with graffiti increasing and now the protests, it's become a more difficult area to live in. It's been tough to see the area degrade like this. Police say they did arrest three adults last night. A juvenile was taken into custody, and one person with a semi-automatic weapon was referred to the district attorney's office for a potential weapons charge. I hope it does teach a lesson to other people that want to graffiti the area to... Be, be careful and not do it. This follows a call on social media for direct action last night. A flyer encouraged folks to create their own direct action groups to target symbols of colonialism and capitalism. Police say the actions of the group last night seem to reflect those actions encouraged. Some say they hope the vandalism will stop and people will start listening to each other. Hopefully, you know, we can find unity, especially in Oregon, Portland, especially. Police say that they do believe more people were involved. They say they are going to continue this investigation. In Southeast Portland, Drew Reeves, Fox 12, Oregon.